Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the Medical Director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation, and today I would like to introduce you to immune therapy for advanced prostate cancer in patients that have metastatic disease but minimally symptomatic, and they are castration-resistant prostate cancer patient. This is a PROSTVAC Phase three clinical study. I will introduce the study, and we'll have Dr. James Gulley, who is the NIH researcher will discuss and explain the PROSTVAC, what it is. But I would like to tell you right away that there is something unique about the PROSTVAC because contrary to other immune therapies, this is much more simplified. The patient is being injected with a vaccine under the skin, subcutaneously. And this uh, is done by a product off the shelf that not involve taking blood from the patient and preparing it the same like the Provence and probably will be less expensive. It also showed quite promising results affecting survival in phase two study. So let's go now and watch Dr. Gali discusses the study and what is the mechanism of action. This study is actually has two researchers involved. One is Dr. James Gulley, who is an MD, PhD, Director of Clinical Trials Group at the NIH. And we also have Dr. Philip Kentoff, who is from Harvard Medical School, uh, participating in the Phase three study. Let's go now and watch Dr. Gulley. PROSVAC is a pox viral based vaccine that has a vaccinia priming and a Falpox boost. Each of these pox viruses has the genes for PSA, and that PSA has actually been modified to make it more immunogenic, as well as the genes for three different human T cell co-stimulatory molecules, which really drive the immune response to a higher plane. What happens as an immune response against one target, say PSA for instance, can lead to immune killing and then subsequent the immune cells take up the dead and dying cancer cells and they can present any different target within the tumor cell back to the immune system. This results in an iterative process, a loop in which you generate a broader immune response over time and this broader immune response can become more clinically relevant and more relevant for that given patient's tumor over time. This has been associated with improved overall survival in a randomized phase two study and this is now being tested in a phase three clinical trial. So the treatment with PROSVAC as described in the phase three study comprises a initial priming vaccination with vaccinia and then subsequent booster vaccinations typically once a month with Falpox vaccine for up to five months so long as the patient doesn't have clinical progression. Typically we don't see an immediate decrease in the PSA in patients treated. This PSA decrease if it happens may be later or the alteration in the rate of rise of the PSA may be later, but that gets to the underlying mechanism of action where it takes a while to generate a clinically significant immune response. So as you can see, we have very exciting times ahead of us. Here is some information about other studies involving PROSTVAC. There are 15 phase one, two clinical trials over 600 patients were treated already with the PROSVAC. Selected clinical trials, we have the PROSPECT, that's the phase three study, we talked about it, which is ongoing. We have randomized double-blind placebo-controlled phase two trials, which were completed, that showed good results. But I think the planned studies are really very important because they introduce combination of using enzalutamide, the super anti-androgen, together with the PROSVAC, and they are moving the PROSVAC also to earlier phases of the disease, earlier stages of the disease, especially for patients that had primary treatment and have rising PSA. And there is uh, even information about next year PROSVAC on patients that are ideal candidates 
for active surveillance. And I'm looking forward to be able to report to you on starting these very important studies that will give immune therapy to patients with low risk, perhaps even medium risk, prostate cancer disease that will be able to get the immune therapy together perhaps with endalunamide. Take care. Thank you for listening. And if you have any question, please call us at 619-906-4700 or email us info at pcref.org. Stay well, stay informed, and have fun. Goodbye.